Hi guys, Brooklyn, and back to my channel. So if you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. I upload videos twice a week on Tuesdays and Fridays. And if you're a turn subscriber, thank you so, so much for your continued love and support of my channel. And I'm really hoping you're enjoying my content. So today's video is going to be my top five favourite powders. And I'm sorry the lighting probably isn't the greatest because I forgot to charge my bloody portable charger from a ring light. And it is winter lighting, so yay. Not... And I have we Nova here. Do I say hi? No. Let's say hi to the YouTubers. Yes. Oh, there she is. It's my wee Frenchy girl Nova. Yeah? I think she just doesn't want to say hi. She just wants to lie down and chill, don't you? She had a walk on off her brother Horton and we went to the lamppost. It's a Sunday. And the trend, because I normally film on Sundays anyway. Like every Sunday I'm all sitting here filming. Like at this time, I remember maybe it, like at this time or earlier, I film my YouTube. So don't have a lot of time, I have to get into it quickly. So the first powder I have, which is probably my favourite powder, it's the Juvia's Place. It's the I Am Magic Loose Setting Powder in Calamari. That's what it looks like here. Beautiful packaging. This powder is the one I'm wearing now. It's been the one I've been loving for a week since I got it. It's quite flawless looking. It makes your skin look quite airbrushed and it is a banana tone, which I prefer to pick up banana tone powders because they're better for my fake tan skin, which I love. So, um, this one is around £14. I got it on Superdrug. And you can get it on the Juvia's Place website, and I believe other websites stock this brand too. And it does have a few different shades too, I think five. So you're bound to find the perfect shade for you. And Juvia's Place is quite inclusive with their shade range, so they've everything from very dark skin to very pale skin so yeah I'm naturally very pale but I wear like, quite a lot of fake tan so I tend to go for the banana shades because they're better for me um so yeah this stuff just really kind of it doesn't it does mattify but it's not it's not like a very kind of flat mat it's like a soft mat so as day goes on it doesn't like make your skin really dry or anything it just kind of lets the glow show free but it's more airbrush matte but um, I wear a liquid illuminating primer underneath my foundation and I usually do wear a glowy or illuminating foundation anyway so it will look glowier. If you wear a matte foundation it will look matte but I prefer a glowy look but I do like to set down makeup because I hate the sticky feel of wet foundation on my skin and I'm just not about that life. So this stuff's perfect for me. It just sets it all down really nicely and it just gives me that banana glow to my skin because I do prefer to use like either yellow tone foundations or olive tone foundations for my tan. And this just complements it really, really nicely. Um, it's quite a fairly mild powder so it does go a long way and it does set down really, really well. I use a smaller brush to set down my concealer and a larger brush for the rest of my face and this just does it really well. So look at my skin, I'm going to do a close up now just to show you. So it's been a few hours since I had this makeup on and um, yeah my skin just looks really really airbrushed and the lighting's not doing us justice, like it's really really bad because I forgot to charge my ring light. <laughs> I forgot, like I thought I had some charger in it. Like I thought I had some charge left in my wee um, portable um, charger but I didn't so yeah. And because my house is crap for plug sockets, I have to charge it before I use it, so boo. But yeah, you can still see how kind of airbrushed and yellow toned my foundation looks. And I find even if my foundation's a bit dark for me, this will kind of match it up pretty well to my fake tan skin tone, the rest of my skin tone, it'll just kind of match it, which is quite nice. And if you're wondering what foundation I have on, it's a She Glam, it's their foundation balm, that one. Skin Fluencer it's called. So yeah, I love the Juvia's Place powder. The next one, which is one of my all-time favourites, is a Revolution. It's quite old. I have had it like three and a half years. Don't judge me, but I've been using it every single day since I got it. Pretty much ever since I wore makeup, whatever. But I've worn makeup, I've always reached for this. And as you can tell, it's pretty much near enough done. I've got a little bit at the bottom, but yeah, it's hardly any left in it. It's the same kind of tone to the Juvia's Place as you can see. It's the same kind of banana tone to it, which is nice. This one's more of a cheaper 
part of the round five or six pound fleece big size and this will last you years because last me years and i wear makeup a few times a week not every single day but a few times a week i'd wear makeup and ever since the other one ran out like last year i've been reaching for this and yeah i just love it it's the best part i've ever tried apart from juvie's place i really really do like it so i love how affordable it is and does the same things that juvie's place does it kind of gives you um like an airbrush mattifying look but it isn't matte matte it's not like a flat matte it's more like a soft natural looking matte now it isn't as airbrushy as the uh, Juvie's Place one but it does give you some sort of airbrush quality not to the extent of the Juvie's Place one but it is good for the price I do like it and I would get it again because it's so good I do have two other different shades in this um powder range I've got the translucent one which is in my makeup artist bag makeup kit and I also have the deep dark one which is in my makeup drawer but I couldn't be bothered bringing it in because I don't want to bring too many powders into this <laughs> room but um it's basically the deep dark one the darkest one to do and you're probably wondering why do you want to have the darkest shade it's because when i have tan on and i'm wearing it for the day i do like to set my chest so i use a big brush and i set my fake tan on my chest to make sure it evens it out and it stops it from transferring and it's great for that now it does make your chest look really really dark which i don't mind but do have it on now this tan does dry down quite quick but if I'm wearing sticky tan and I'm putting my pajamas on or whatever I'll just set it down to make sure it doesn't kind of transfer especially at night and it does a trick and it kind of deepens the colour a bit which I like and the transition one is one I would wear at my palest when I have no fake tan on and I use it on different clients because it's every single type of skin tone so it goes for people who are very very fair to people who are very very dark I just like that powder because it's good for everyone pretty much and I have a lot of different shades in this I've got about I think around 10 shades in this range from the very very light to very very dark which is an amazing I love that I love the fact that Revolution have loads of different shades in their range it's brilliant so yeah and the third one which I don't have it's another one by Revolution it is their um I think it's called concealing set it's the one that came out with the concealing hydrate um foundation and concealer range I did have that powder like over a year ago well I bought it three years ago but I used it up last year so I don't have it anymore throughout the packaging but it basically comes in this kind of big um powder packaging that's around I'll put a picture up to show you a big round um compact but it's like a loose powder now it does give you the same amount of airbrush as the Juvia's Place one but the packaging that more of a nuisance I found because they didn't have anything to kind of separate the mirror and the sifter so it kind of flew everywhere and it wasn't practical at all so that's one thing and um i found lost like half the product because it was in my makeup bag one time and yeah it's not great for that way but for other ways it's a really really good powder it's a bit more dear than the regular revolution one but it's cheaper than the dubious place one and I have a few different shades in that one. I think I got the medium yellow one. So basically the banana one. And I do love that one. And I would probably get it again. But I think the reason why I haven't bought it again yet. Is because of the packaging. I just I don't like the packaging on it. That's one thing. But it is a still an affordable good airbrush and banana powder. The fourth one which I do have. But I don't have it here. Because it's downstairs in my makeup bag. Not my makeup bag. My handbag love. If I could speak. I have it in my handbag. And um... It is a Too Faced, I think it's called the Born This Way Foundation Powder and I have it in the shade Latte. And I like to use this on the go because it does set down and kind of touch up areas. Like I find when my nose runs, I lose a lot of foundation around her and I have like a white mark and I hate it. Especially if I've just put my tan on and it hasn't developed like the even out the skin tone. So having that powder in my handbag is handy because I just touch it up with a sponge and it kind of evens like my foundation in an instant and it also helps to kind of it kind of just correct underneath the eye say for instance if my eyes water and the foundation comes off I kind of just sweep it around underneath the eyes and it just helps kind of fix that a bit for myself and I have lots of different shades in that one too and I have time use it as a foundation on its own especially last year and the year before it's quite good for a quick 
foundation and powder in one. All you need is a primer and concealer and that's you pretty much for your base. And yeah, I just love that one too. Last but not least, which I don't have and I haven't had it in a few years, it's the Revolution Foundation Powder. And I'm not sure they still do this or not, but they do have um a newer version, which I haven't tried yet, but the older version, which is the Revolution Pro Foundation Powder. I'll put a picture here to show you what it looks like. Um, I love that one. Now, when I had it, I had it in the shade, I think it was P1, like powder one, and I use that underneath the eyes to kind of set and kind of conceal a bit underneath my eyes as well. And that was three years ago, and if you look back on my earlier foundation routine I did, about three and a half years ago, I did use that one along with the um, Kiko foundation powder in like a tan shade. They were good for mixing to get my exact shade for where my um, skin tone is sitting which is quite good. Now the reason why I'm not mentioning the Kiko powder foundation, it's because I discontinued it so we can't get any more. I do have a permanent um powder foundation but it isn't as good as the limited edition one from four years ago because that one, the permanent one is a mattifying one and it can look flat matte whereas the limited edition one has a more glowy natural look and you can't get it anymore. I'm sure they have like updated versions of their limited edition part of foundation, but you can't get the one that I liked back in the day. So that's why I'm not mentioning it. So yes, that's it for my top five favourite powders. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you again for the next one. Stay gorgeous. God bless. Bye.